Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery, and today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite romances that are hilarious. Baby, baby. So these are all romance books that made me laugh out loud, and it takes a lot out of a book for me to laugh out loud. So if a book made me laugh out loud, it's definitely funny in my eyes. These aren't necessarily rom-coms. I don't like I don't like the word rom-com. Like I don't, I don't like it. Um, <laughs> and so these are just romances that are hilarious, that made me laugh out loud, that have funny scenes in them. First, I have Pucked by Helena Hunting. This is a hockey romance, and this is the romance between a hockey player and one of his players that he plays alongside is his stepsister if that makes sense so kind of like your friend's sister relationship violet and alex in here are absolutely hilarious and their banter is amazing this is kind of like a one one night stand to more like it grows into that like you just have a one night stand and then it grows into something more um but like violet is i think she's gold <laughs> in the way that she like uh just talks to him there's one scene that literally had me cackling out loud where she decides to dress up his thing as a superhero and it is hilarious <laughs> the scenes in here there's just scenes in here that had me dying laughing i don't think that all of the other books in the series made me cackle as much as this book but man this book made me cackle so many times laugh out loud hilarious the audiobook is amazing because i think the narrators did it so well. I then have Zenny by Rebecca Weatherspoon. This is a marriage of convenience. So Zenny's aunt just passed away and her aunt was really rich and she decides to give Zenny almost all of everything in the will except for a little bit for a um a friend that she had in her small town and his name is what's his name? Mason. His name is Mason. Um and so she kind of like uh, has some money for Mason as well because he was really nice to her while she was very sick. And so while they're reading the will uh, there's like a stipulation in there that neither of them can get the money that they're inheriting unless they get married and so they have a marriage of convenience with one another in order to get money <laughs> i think that their banter was hilarious zenny is a very funny person i love them both of them are bigger characters like kirby are bigger characters and so i love the rep in there i think both of them are also bisexual so there's another amazing representation in there for you i feel like rebecca weatherspoon is just amazing later amazingly diverse in like anything that she writes i just thought that both of them were just hilarious people and they tell jokes they banter with one another it was so cute and hilarious at the same time next is the book that i probably laughed out loud the most from that's probably my favorite funny romance book we have heidi's guide to four letter words by tar civic and andy arndt andy arndt narrates this book and i I love Andy Arndt as a narrator, y'all. I don't know about you, but I love Andy Arndt. So this is all about Heidi. <laughs> and she has a huge crush on her next door neighbor who likes to do yard work out without a shirt on in front of his house. And she just, she thinks he is so cute. Um, she recently got laid off from being a kindergarten teacher. Um, and so she's trying to look for a new job. She ends up across this new job at an audiobook company. And little does she know until her first day of work there, that it is a audiobook company only for dirty books. <laughs> it's really cool also because you get to learn about the audiobook industry a little bit in this book, which is really cool. She kind of like thinks of herself as like a prude. She like is cringing all the time she's at work. She's not comfortable at all. So she's like, I need to get more comfortable being in my work setting. And so she one night gets drunk off of boxed wine. Well, she takes home some like uh, podcast microphone equipment that wasn't being used in the studio. So she takes it home and very drunkenly one night, she um starts up a podcast where she reads scenes from dirty books in order to be more comfortable reading dirty books and to hopefully gain enough confidence to go ask out her neighbor and it is just so funny and hilarious it is gold like i think i was driving from my college town to my parents house which back then at my other college it was like a two and a half hour drive and i think i listened to that almost all the way like it's a fairly short audiobook uh, so i listened to most of it on my ride there and i was literally cackling in the car while i was driving and that never happens <laughs> and so i feel like this is if if you already read any book from this list please read this one then i have jock row by sarah nye this is a college romance and kind of a sports romance scarlet in here ends up going to jock row which is basically kind of like if you think about sororities and frats like there's kind of like a street where all of their houses are that's also a thing for um sports players um in this college so there's jock row where all of like the the baseball players and the football players and 
basketball players, all of them live on the same street essentially. And so every Friday night, this baseball house has a party. And so Scarlett and her friends end up going to this party and Scarlett is the only sober one. And so her two friends are like flirting with these baseball guys. Scarlett in here, she's a baseball fanatic. And so these guys are like making up lies about themselves being like, yeah, we won the World Series or like whatever the equivalent is for college. I don't remember. Um, but basically like we won the championship, we did this and she's like, no y'all didn't so and so won the championship what are you talking about so she's basically like blocking these dudes from getting with her friends um kind of like putting down all of the moves that they're making on her friends who are being so dumb her friends are so dumb and so they like tell like the captain of the team i think his name is rowdy she needs to leave like she needs to go she's like killing the mood she's not letting us get with these girls and so he ends up escorting her out of the um house and has to sit on the porch with her to make sure she doesn't go back inside because she's not leaving without her friends and so um all night they end up chatting and talking to one another and she ends up coming back every every friday night just to sit on the porch and talk to him and it's kind of like a friends to lovers mutual attraction grows to more um i think this is just so cute it's hilarious like um just how his friends react to her and like they have this nickname for her and people like her and she's just hilarious and how blunt and straightforward she is i love it and so this was really cute um if you love baseball-esque romances without like baseball actually being on the page i would really check out this one then i have get a life chloe brown by talia hibbert or just any of the brown sisters books because they are gold hilarious um this is about chloe brown and she has a chronic illness called fibromyalgia and at the beginning of this book she um has kind of like a near-death experience and she decides that she needs to get a life like if she would have died at that moment like she would have done like she, like her obituary would say that she did nothing with her life and so she makes a bucket list of things she wants to do and one of those things is to move out of her parents house and finally get her own apartment and there she meets the superintendent of the building named redford and is very much an enemies to lovers dichotomy between the two of them they don't like each other at all um he is a painter he's had some pre previous um traumatic experience with an ex of his and so he's like just standoffish and chloe's very blunt <laughs> um it's very cute and very like it's very cute once they start like to actually stop hating each other i just love their banter their banter in here is hilarious one of my favorite scenes ever that made me cackle out loud is um if you see the little cat on the cover here um chloe ends up trying to save a cat from a tree um and she names him smudge <laughs> and um like redford ends up seeing chloe in this tree and it's like what are you doing in a tree <laughs> and is hilarious and just like his reaction about the cat is so funny too i feel like any book that you pick up from this series because you have um danny and eve over there as well like any book you're gonna be cackling at some point then i have devil in spring by lisa kleipas this is book number three a part of the ravenel series this is about pandora and gabriel and so pandora she does not want to get married she just wants to make board games and like be a spinster and not get married at all but she has to like go to these parties with her sister her twin sister named cassandra because cassandra wants to get married she wants that kind of life and so she's like i don't want to leave my sister alone so i'll like I'll go to these parties with her okay and so she goes to this party this ball she like ends up exploring the house all by herself and she goes into this empty room and is like sitting on the settee there in this room and her dress ends up getting stuck in the settee and so gabriel ends up walking past the room and like notices her and realizes that she's stuck and so he like goes to save her or like help her out through him helping her out they get like stuck in this like compromising position like they're both stuck in the settee and then these two men walk in and are like what are y'all doing and like they think that they're doing something bad you know like bad and like they're both still stuck in the settee and it's hilarious like their banter and talk talk the way that they talk to one another is hilarious like she doesn't want to get married even though he's like we have to get married now like i have to save your reputation and she's like i don't care about my reputation and it's just that scene like made it for the book like you just kept getting funnier and funnier this whole book he's trying to like convince her to marry him even though he doesn't really want to get married she doesn't want to get married but he really needs to be like honorable he says and it's basically kind of like them growing in their feelings with one another as they get to know one another and it is so sweet and cute representation that i love in here is that um, pandora is actually hearing impaired i think in one of her ears and so it forces her to have like vertigo and um because she can't hear in one ear her like balance is off center so that's the reason why she's so clumsy and falls all the time and people just make fun of her but there's actually like a reasoning behind it that not a lot of people know about and so she really confides in gabriel because of what she's gone through it's so sweet <laughs> another talia hibbert book is untouchable this is a nanny romance and a single parent romance um so our hero and heroine they knew each other growing up i think in high school they always knew of each other but they like didn't 
they weren't friends i don't think if i remember correctly maybe they were i don't remember um <laughs> nate ends up moving back to town um after his wife i think passed or left him i don't remember but he's a single father now and so hannah is looking for a job and she loves kids and so she um, becomes the nanny for him and his kids. I just think Hannah is really blunt and honest and honestly hilarious. Again, their banter. It's great banter makes me cackle, okay? Great banter. Her relationship with these kids is hilarious. I love it so much. Very sweet, very cute, and just like, I feel like anything you read by Talia Hibbert is gonna make you laugh at some point because like her writing is just so good and organic and like flows really well and it feels like you're actually having a conversation with these characters and like in any conversation you have with somebody, hopefully you laugh or are enjoying it, you know? Then I have Neanderthal Seeks Human by by Penny Reed. This is the first book in the Knitting in the City series. So Janie works at this company and she is very much known as a babbler. I can attest to this. I am a babbler too. <laughs> so it's very hard at points to like get your point across when you're a huge babbler, when you're nervous and stuff. And so Janie babbles a lot. She has always had this crush on or really been interested in this guy she's seen at the lobby of her work building. I think she gets fired from her job and this guy ends up like being, I think like a security guard and ends up escorting her out. And just like their conversation in the elevator of like him taking her downstairs is just like so funny. I love just how um, funny she is she's just a funny person and how the hero like really takes that in and loves her for it and loves her quirks and her babbles like he loves them and her like she has little factoids that she spits out when she's nervous too and that is so cute and some of them are really funny and some of them are really awkward and some of them sometimes she says facts that are not good in that moment and can be really awkward <laughs> so you kind of get that awkward laugh as well then i have the bride test by helen huang this is a romance between esme and kai kai has autism and his mother ends up going to where does uh ho chi minh city to find um a wife for her son and so she basically gets a mail order bride esme uh like she gets esme and brings her to america and is like you're gonna live with my son and you're gonna marry him and esme's like okay she just wants to provide a uh um a better life for her daughter um because she's a single mother so she's trying to live with kai and get to know kai even though kai wants a nothing to do with Esme. He's like, who is this woman in my house? Why is she cleaning? Why is she cooking? What is she doing? Like, he does not understand what this woman is doing in her house. Like, he gets what his mom is doing, but he's just like, why won't you leave? <laughs> and it's just his reaction to Esme is hilarious. So funny. And like, Esme is just this happy-go-lucky, just like, I want to love you. I want you to love me. Can you love me? And he's just like, no. <laughs> But then he slowly does start to fall in love with her and it is so cute. Like when you see that scene, there's a scene in here where like he finally like kisses her. And, oh my God, it is so good. It is so amazing. And the last book that I'm going to be talking about today is Muffin Top by Avery Flynn. This is about Lucy and Frankie. So Lucy, um, I think is like a PR manager for a hockey team. She is really close with her best friend and her best friend's brother realizes that she is going dateless to a high school reunion and um lucy's kind of like reluctant to go because she doesn't want to be made fun of by other people and so he's just like how i'll go with you and i can pretend to be your boyfriend at this reunion and she's like okay cool and so they have to like stay together while they pretend to be boyfriend and girlfriend um at this high school reunion it is so funny it is so funny because i think they stay with her dad at one point and the dad the dad's dog is hilarious because he like humps everything in sight and it's it's so funny there's just a, a lot of laugh out loud moments in this book and in the rest of the series too because this is book number two part of this companion series and i loved um just how plus size rep was discussed in this book i really liked that because our heroine is plus size um and i love how we get a plus size model in this cover don't you just love it um and then frankie is a firefighter gorgeous hero i just thought this was hilarious and like the dog scene made it like it was <laughs> so funny so there you have it those are some romance books that made me laugh out loud please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to or if you have any other romances that made you laugh too um please leave them down in the comment section down below but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all